Welcome to my channel. This tutorial series covers principles of fit in Clo. In this video, we will learn how to address the fit issues of a bodice with gaping at the arm's eye and drag lines directed towards the bust point from the arm's eye and the lower side seam. Let's get started. There are a few steps we're going to take before we get ready to fit any garment. The first one is to view fit map which is over here in the 3D display options. You can also press Alt-8 to activate that. And that's just gonna show us where um, there are issues. Uh, Clone might not necessarily show us where something is too tight. Um, it actually looks like every measurements are fine on this one. They're just, um, the fullness is just not distributed in the right place. The next thing we're going to do is assign an appropriate fabric. So that's in the object browser. I already have my muslin at the very bottom. I've assigned it just a basic muslin fabric. And then we also want to assign a grid to that fabric as a texture. So I have an inch grid here and I also have a centimeter grid available on my Patreon. So um, we want to make sure that the thick textured surface is on so we can see that grid that's right here in the 3D display options. The next thing we want to do is apply seam taping. So um, we're just going to do that to the necklines here. So seam taping on. Um, also the arm size by we're just shift clicking those with the edit pattern tool and then turning seam taping on in the property editor. And that just simulates uh, stay stitching. Um, I find um, so that if there really is, sometimes there's not actually a problem. The fabric is just getting stretched out in a way that it wouldn't in real life if you sewed it properly. All right, the next thing you wanna do is check to make sure you are on high res garment. And um, that's right over here in the 3D options. If you, you might have to click and hold this icon to find high res. Uh, particle distance, you want anywhere from five to 10, depending on what your computer can handle. And then skin offset, you want uh, 0.5 to 5 millimeters, depending on how many garments will be worn underneath this garment in real life. Simulation quality is fitting um, accurate fabric. Go ahead and click OK. All right, the last thing we want to do before we're ready to fit is just make sure that this garment is sitting properly on the avatar. So um, I just have the select move tool activated and I'm using my 3D hand to kind of push and uh, pull on this to make sure that these drag lines are actually sitting where they naturally want to sit and they're not, um, then and to make sure there's also just getting a chance to kind of look over the garment um, and evaluate what issues there might be. So with that being said, uh, look, let's go ahead and address this um, uh, gaping right here in the arm's eye. I find that this is a pretty common a uh, fit that I have to do in Clo, particularly when working with metahumans because they are so well endowed. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is click on the slash and spread tool, the fullness point tool. So that's right here in the 2D toolbar. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of my object browser, my property editor, because I don't need those for now. And then I'm just gonna click in the 3D window to kind of figure out where this drag line is intersecting with the arm's eye. And that will just show me in the 2D window with this blue dot. And with that slash and spread uh, fullness point tool, I'm just gonna click on the arm's eye near that dot that I just created. And then I'm gonna click on the dart point. That's going to draw a slash line. The next step says select side to rotate. And I always defer to the, whatever side is not, does not have center front or center back on it. So um, the reason being because if you move center front and center back, then you have to readjust your grain line. So we just cut up a step by avoiding that. So let's go ahead and grab this side of the arrow to rotate. And then, um, you can see what this is doing is actually increasing the size of that dart. And I find with this type of alteration, a little goes a long way. So we're just going to right click and let's just type in 0.5 inches. We can always do this again later if we need more. Go ahead and click OK. So that what that's going to do is actually create more room in the bust area, which in theory should relieve um, this kind of gaping in the arm's eye. Another thing you can do is... Um, you can also just close, you know, close it in the arm side too. But let's go ahead and try this first and see what happens. So I'm, I'm simulating and I still got a little bit of um, arm eye stuff going on here. But also if you look and see, um, this arm eye is a lot bigger than the <laughs> arm because of all of the mass that is uh, here. So let's go ahead and just adjust that arm eye really quick. Um, 
to do that, let's go to the edit pattern tool first and let's just delete these points that were created in the previous step, um, both in the dart and in the arm's eye, and then grab the edit curvature tool, the C hotkey, and just kind of add that curve back in. Maybe about that when I press simulate. Yeah, that's looking that's looking a, lo a lot better. Um, this down here is a mess, but we've still got some work to do. Um, so just ignore that for now. I think we added enough uh, fabric at the bust by in increasing that dart. So uh, let's go ahead and just see what's going on down there. I'm just um, switching these kind of close to 90 degrees, um, which is how I tend to true my um, arms, eyes, and my shoulders in contemporary clothing. All right, so down here now, what, when we made that dart bigger, what happened was we actually made this dart leg bigger or longer than this dart leg. So this is 6.8 and then this is 6.5. Um, to just that, we're going to go ahead and lengthen this front. You could also shorten the side, but when I look at her, I can see that probably that front could use a little bit more length anyway. So um, to go over uh, her her breast tissue. So let's go ahead and, and do that. So um, 6.8, 6.5, I just have the edit pattern tool selected and I'm going to click this um, line right here. This the pattern is line 1B to F. And I'm gonna click and drag that down and either using those pink guidelines to make sure that I stay on the locked to the Y axis or holding shift. I'm just going to drag down until that other dart leg is just as long as the other one, 6.881. That looks pretty good. Go ahead and let go. And now you can see that it still looks pretty bad. But uh, what is tricky about these types of alterations is we always need to be checking those sewing lengths to make sure that nothing weird is happening. So I'm going to do that by going to the edit sewing tool and I can see um, that's the B hotkey and right here in the 2D toolbar and I can see that this seam line did not really work very well when I adjusted the start so I'm just going to to delete it and then use the sewing tool the N hotkey right here in the 2D toolbar segment sewing to just re-sew that dart and then simulate and now that is looking pretty good I'm using my little 3D hand to um, kind of pull this into shape um, and yeah, I am pretty happy with this alteration. There's still like a little bit of extra fabric over here, but honestly that would probably just needs to be, um, eased into more of the top of this dart and there could be a little bit more finessing there. Um, alternatively, you might consider modifying it just slightly by making this dart into two darts, but that is a job for a different tutorial. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you have comments, questions, or ideas or thoughts of any kind, go ahead and add them to the comment section. Thanks.